Are you a business owner or an entrepreneur? Is there a difference? How do you feel? Would you call yourself? An interesting subject, I think. Uh, nothing to be going too deep into, but it's worth, I think, noticing the, the difference. Uh, hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel. This is uh, Jen Lillian. Feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification button as well. I'm here releasing daily videos into your inbox. Anything around marketing, business, strategies, mindset, because you need to look after yourself when running a business. But uh, yeah, more to follow after this. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Right, the difference between an entrepreneur and a business owner. Now, I have, I think, always called myself an entrepreneur just because when my business journey started back in 2012, it was the books I was reading. They weren't really for business owners, they were for entrepreneurs. And I think that term back in 2012, or just before then, became quite popular. And people were just maybe throwing it around here and there, especially when Dragon's Den become, became very popular as well, which is the, uh, the UK version um, on our TV screens. And I still love that show, I think it's brilliant. And um, yeah, I, I entrepreneurship is, is a lifestyle. It, it's like the entrepreneur, and I've read definitions up on, on Google, an entrepreneur, um, it's said anyway, out there on Google as a definition is, uh, for those who have a bigger ambition for themselves, they want to make change in this world, they want to make a dent, they want to make a massive impact and it's been said online as a definition that they are there to get funding in order to build their vision. That really is how a entrepreneur is defined. I would agree to that to a certain extent but I think if I ever look at my history and all my ideas I have always tried to be um, a, a visionary uh, I've always tried to be not even tried I, I have been um, I've got traits of being like a pioneer and that is good <laughs> I think but there is this saying that if you are always wanting to um, make a dent, always follow I think success because there are many people I think who are out there who have um, tried to become a pioneer, an entrepreneur and they've got so many arrows in their back because they're not really following what works and I have also felt a business owner, I felt like a business owner, I've had four indoor cycling studios before and again the definition um, on Google is really um, a business owner is someone who doesn't have as much of a big vision, they just really want to build a nice income for themselves and their family and to support their local community. And I must admit when I was running my indoor cycling studios I did feel more of a business owner. If I maybe think again as, as an entrepreneur, you are just basically managing all the moving parts and you can just see the bigger vision and it's just all about looking at things objectively, whereas a business owner, you could see them as being um, a person who is uh, building something for themselves and their family, like a very sort of small portion of a bigger picture. and. Yeah, I think there could be a slight difference. I mean, it, it depends. L let me know how, what you think. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're an entrepreneur? Do you feel like a business owner? Do you think they are the same? Or can you identify small differences in them? Because really, if you were to look online, there's not really a clear definition. Um, and I didn't quite agree with some of them that I was coming across. If you can find a, a difference, uh, a big difference and a very defined definition then feel free to send it in the description box below um, because I can quite come across but I actually do think I'm an entrepreneur at heart you know people like for example um, I used to read book I actually used to read Donald Trump um, his books uh, back in my first few years of business uh, the art of the deal and what was the other one he did can't remember now and um, he is a character, I don't know where you think or, or, or feel when it comes to Donald Trump, 
Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin and the group there, um, yeah, he, he is in my eyes an entrepreneur, he's not a business owner. If you can see and take the difference from that, then yeah, I've always felt I'm more of a uh, Richard Branson than what I am maybe a, a small business owner running multiple businesses. So yeah, again, tell me how you feel, where do you fit in, is there a difference, do you like to use the term that you are an entrepreneur or a business owner? Just, just I thought I'd shoot this video and maybe just discuss this, but let me know where you're at. If you've got any, um, uh, if you've got any issues or brick walls in your way when it comes to uh, creating a a sustainable revenue stream into your business, then um, a guy called Russell Brunson, again, I believe he's a, another entrepreneur. He actually um, is the founder of ClickFunnels, which is a software company. He helps you create and build that sustainable, robust sales funnel to generate those high quality leads and clients into your business with that, that whether you have an offline business or an online business, uh, feel free to jump on his challenge. I'll leave the link below. You get to learn everything that you need to learn in order to create that awesome business that you're working hard towards. So it's for business owners, it's for entrepreneurs, it's for anyone um, that wants to yeah, start making an income, whether it's offline or online, or just to um, generate better results in their business. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.